If printing more money causes more inflation, why don't we do the opposite and stop printing it for a while? We increase value of money by making money harder to borrow increase interest rates. That is the end impact of raising interest rates. Most money is printed via the making of loans not the stamping of ink on paper. The more above average the rate of lending is, the higher the multiplier effect and the more money supply there is. If you raise the cost of borrowing, you get less of it and thus less money supply. If money would increase in value over time, you would be motivated to not spend money and stash it for the future. This will kill the economy as people would stop buying things. There is only enough gold to fund 1% of the world's GDP at current exchange rates. 244,000 tons of gold is 1.12 trillion. The world GPD is 101 trillion. I know stubbing my toe will hurt, but I don't think cutting off my foot will stop me from ever feeling pain again. Knowing one driver does not an economist make. They do, but it is not the only way money is created and it is not the only cause for inflation. It's not a catch-all solution because it doesn't encompass the whole situation. Inflation can be good if the wage increase alongside. That's the idea behind raising interest rates. Fewer people borrowing money means less cash circulating in the economy. We do. Money supply has contracted by more than four in the last couple years HTTPS. Because inflation devalues government debt power, the FED attempts to do this by increasing interest rates. Low interest rates encourage spending and getting loans for growth, but infinite spending power leads to inflation. So the FED increases the interest rates in order to reduce the money in the economy and decrease inflation. The USA is only ever had almost zero interest rate since the mid-2000s, and it's hurt the power of the dollar since https colon fred dot sd lewis dot org series fed fund shttps colon fred dot sd lewis dot org series fed funds. But we could just set it on fire too. That's exactly what the Fed is doing right now. The government does collect cash to destroy the active printing is not relevant when most is digital how to deal with inflation is to increase taxes for those that can afford it however the people making the decisions are in the pockets of those that can afford it so instead of increasing taxes they create loopholes to avoid paying taxes i haven't seen anyone mention mv equals pq where m is the money supply b is the velocity of money p is the price of goods and services and q is the quantity of goods and services if any of these increases or decrease there's a change in at least one of the others. An increase in the supply of money M may initially be countered by more people spending money V, but over a longer period of time P, the cost of those things will increase because of demand, the companies selling things will take larger profits. If the demand is sustained, those same companies may decide to increase their production long term. Most of the current reported inflation is being propped up by housing shortages and insurance increases. It's not as simple as more money equals more inflation. Because the people that matter make a lot of money by capitalizing on this process. The ones voting to print more are getting kickbacks. It's a corrupt system of money laundering through endless wars. Printing money is not the root cause of inflation. Money isn't even really real. It's just paper is we trade for goods and services in lieu of actual barter. Now we have Bitcoin and digital assets. Even less real money. Edit. Inflation wouldn't even exist if not for tokens and monopoly paper. It's a thing we made up to hold power over one another in exchange for goods and services rendered. Edit. Kind of like how we made up God and formed entire religions. Or measuring time and worshipping Kronos. It's all about someone getting one over on the rest of us. So they can do what they want when they want and rule everything. Power over others is a hell of a drug. Follow up stupid question. If the overwhelming majority of people don't have the overwhelming majority of this printed money, why are prices inflating so much? Banks borrow money cheaply from the FED. They make money by lending it at more expensive rates to business owners and consumers. If the Fed prevented banks from borrowing all money, the cost for businesses and consumers to borrow money would shoot up to be impossible to benefit from the loan. This would cause people to stop spending and stop buying very quickly. So the FED discourages more money from reaching businesses and consumers by slowly increasing how much it costs banks to borrow from them. In response, banks slowly raise the cost for businesses and consumers to borrow from them. If the FED times this process right, businesses and consumers adapt their expectations but continue spending and buying at slower rates that are still manageable for everyone. Why don't they just stop telling people they are printing more money? Low L deflation means a higher bill to pay in the end best be to print money with no interest rate with the printer or better yet reset up the old way when the country printer their money 
a reasonable interest rate instead of compound interest to a corporation allowed to print the money. It's not printing money that causes inflation. But because there is more money in circulation there is more money that everyone has available to spend increased spending increases inflation. Not printing any more currency would not necessarily cause people to spend less money. Follow-up question. How exactly does printing money cause inflation? Salary people are still making the same exact salary and take home pay per month. Hourly people are still making the same hourly wage and working the same general hours they typically do per month. If we are all making the same amount of money, we don't have any extra money than we did before the money was printed to spend. I'm just confused on that part, don't annihilate me.